Researchers have created a new sodium battery that can rapidly charge in only a few seconds. And this was published by the Korean Advanced Institute of Science and Technology. So it's not some kind of clickbait nonsense here. This is some seriously impressive technological innovation. Hello, my friends. Great to see you. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. This sodium ion battery is very intriguing. And the reason is sodium. It is 500 times more abundant than lithium. And it's recently gotten a lot of attention for its potential in sodium ion battery technology. And a lot of people think sodium ion batteries, they're inferior to lithium. Well, CATL and BYD, the two biggest battery companies in the world, they don't agree. They are working together to produce a solid state battery using sodium. However, there are other companies doing the same thing. Existing sodium ion batteries do face some fundamental limitations though, including lower power output, constrained storage properties, and longer charging times, necessitating the development of next generation energy storage materials and of new ways of improving these batteries. A research team led by Professor Yung Ku Kang from the Department of Material Science and Engineering has developed a high energy, high power, hybrid sodium ion battery capable of rapid charging. Uh, rapid charging that has never ever been seen before in the battery industry. This research co-authored by KAIST doctoral candidates was published in the journal Energy Storage Materials with the title Low Crystallinity Conductive Multivalence Iron Sulfide Embedded S-Doped Anode and High Surface Area O-doped cathode of 3D porous enriched graphic carbon frameworks for high performance sodium ion hybrid energy storage. That's the title. Yeah, it's, it was quite a mouthful just reading that. The innovative hybrid energy storage system though integrates anode materials typically used in batteries with cathodes suitable for supercapacitors. You can sort of start to see where the hybrid part comes into this battery. This combination allows the device to achieve both high storage capacities and rapid charge discharge rates, positioning it as a viable next generation alternative to lithium ion batteries. Not just viable, it could even be much, much better if it can really charge this fast in the real world. But put it this way, even if it's 10 times slower than what's claimed, it can still charge in a couple of minutes. The development of a hybrid battery with high energy and high power density requires an improvement to the slow energy storage rate of battery anodes, as well as the enhancement of the relatively low capacity of supercapacitor type cathode materials. Supercapacitors, we, we've, many people have wanted to use those in EVs. They've tried to, but the batteries just don't last long enough. To account for this, Professor Kang's team utilized two distinct metal organic frameworks for the optimized synthesis of hybrid batteries. This approach led to the development of an anode material with improved kinetics through the inclusion of fine active materials in porous carbon derived from metal organic frameworks. I honestly don't fully understand what that means, but a high capacity cathode material was synthesized and the combination of the cathode and anode materials allowed for the development of a sodium ion storage system, optimizing the balance and minimizing the disparities in energy storage rates between the electrodes. The assembled full battery cell comprising the newly developed anode and cathode forms a high performance hybrid sodium ion energy storage device. This device surpasses the energy density of lithium ion batteries and exhibits the characteristics of supercapacitors in terms of power density. And what that means is it has much better energy density than supercapacitors, but it can operate like a supercapacitor. It is expected to be suitable for rapid charging applications ranging from electric cars to smart electronic devices and aerospace technologies. Now, whether or not this can possibly be commercialized, I don't know. But it's true that sodium ion batteries are very cheap to manufacture because sodium is so cheap. Professor Kang noted that the hybrid sodium ion energy storage device capable of rapid charging and achieving an energy density of 247 watts per kilogram, which is actually a very high energy density. It's a, 
a little bit higher than the energy density in Tesla's batteries today. The power density is 34,748 watts per kilo. And this represents a breakthrough in overcoming the current limitations of sodium ion batteries. So not only does this have higher energy density than almost all lithium ion batteries being used in uh, mass produced EVs today, but it can charge in only seconds. It almost sounds too good to be true. Well, hopefully it isn't because honestly, this is the kind of technology that could, it could completely transform electrification. Charging in seconds with this kind of energy density using cheap, abundant sodium. That sounds like the trifecta to me. Now, yes, it's many years away from commercialization, of course, but it's still fun to imagine what cars are gonna be like in 10 or 20 years time from now. This, well, this might be it. Thanks for watching.